the game in overtime and sent the Ottawa Senators to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time in franchise history. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I'm your host. Uh, before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore for live stream updates of all Senators games and of course breaking news. And please subscribe to us down below and check out our website SenseTalkCenter.com where we update it every single day. And this is going to be our last video of the summer. This is the July 1st free agency recap for your Auburn Senators. And let's start it off with uh, a minor signing. We're going to start with the minor signing. So it's a goaltender. Uh, the Sanders signed his last season was in Sabir um, Nova Izberlik uh, in the K K uh, Continental Hockey League in Russia. Uh, his name is Danny Taylor. Um, he He's from Plymouth, United Kingdom. Last season in 29 games in the KHL. Uh, he had a 175 goals against average, a 940 save percentage. Um, in another club in the KHL that same season, Medveskak. Med Zagreb in the K Continental Hockey League as well. In 17 games, he had a 223 goals against average and a 930 save percentage. So, so there, those are some very good numbers for a 31-year-old goaltender. More most likely could be a mentor for a guy like Marcus Hogberg and Chris Drager in AHL and the ECHL, as Andrew Hammond will either be bought out or traded by the beginning of the season. So that is Danny Taylor. The next prospect is Eric Bergdorfer. Some interesting names. He's coming back to the NHL. Um, last year in Rochester, in 52 games, he got 17 points with one goal and 16 assists. But he did have 44 penalty minutes and an even rating, even plus minus rating of zero. He played two games in Buffalo last year, the young defenseman. In two games, he had a minus one rating, no penalty minutes, nothing on the score sheet. In two games, I didn't really, I didn't, don't really know this player. Um, I don't know if he's good or not, but it seems like another depth signing for the new Belleville Senators. He is young, though. Well, not yet too young. Um, he is 28 years old. So another depth kind of guy to help out that Bel Belleville Senators team make the playoffs once again. Tyler Randall. He is a gritty type of player that we signed from the Providence Bruins, the AHL affiliate of the Boston Bruins. Uh, last season with Providence, uh, in 59 games, he had 10 points, 1 goal, 9 assists, 81 penalty minutes, a minus 6 rating. He has played some NHL games before, though. In 27 games he's played, he's only gotten 6 points, all were goals, and 47 penalty minutes. So this guy really likes to drop the mitts. Uh, he's 26 years old, another depth signing for the Belleville Senators to get them back to that playoff spot and keep them successful. Max Reinhardt, he comes back from to this to the North America last season he played the Denmark International League he played 52 league games for call on sharks he had six goals 17 assists 23 pin points and uh, 26 penalty minutes he has an NHL experience 23 games played with five points and six penalty minutes I don't expect him to make the roster I do expect him, though, that maybe potentially if he starts to play well in the AHL, they get a late season call up if needed. So expect maybe a Max Reinhardt to be called up for depth reasons to be scratched on a healthy night. Let's say if Max McCormick makes a team and he gets injured and, you know, there needs to be an extra spot, he would be the guy getting scratched but still on the team. So expect potentially Max Reinhardt to be called up. He's only 25 years old and he was drafted in the third round, 64 overall, by the Calgary Flames. And finally, for these. Minor league deals. We have Ben Sexton, a uh, center, 26 years old. Um, he's uh, from Canada, Ontario, so a good local boy. Uh, he was drafted by the Boston Ruins in the seventh round, 206 overall in 2009. Um, his stats aren't um, wowing. In the Pian Raiders, in the first two years of his career, he's gotten only 65 points in over 100 games, or well, just a little under 100 games. But professionally, um, he's compiled not too many points with Providence from 2013 to 2016. He only compiled um, 19 points uh, during that span of over 60-something games. He did have 9 penalty minutes in 2013-14, 57 in 2014-15, and 45 in 2015-16. Uh, Providence Bruins, I believe, are a playoff team. So... You know, take a little what you want from that. He's probably a third liner there. Um, and his plus rating in 2013-14, minus 4. 2014-15, uh, uh, plus 6. And 2015-16, minus 13. This year, he had a pretty productive season in Albany with the Albany Devils, who are moving to Binghamton with the former Sanders um, affiliate um, city. 
In 54 games, he had 19 goals, 12 assists for 31 points and, and 60 penalty minutes for a plus-minus rating of zero. The Albany Devils, or Binghamton Devils, are not exactly the best team in the AHL, the American Hockey League. So Ben Sexton, 31 points, 54 games. Could be a late-season call-up as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see him at least play one game this year in the Otto Sanders uniform. And the Sanders made one depth signing for the NHL roster today. They signed Nate Thompson, who has experience with Guy Boucher from the Anaheim Ducks. He is 32 years old. They signed him for $1.65 million on average for two years for $3.3 million total, uh, which is a little high price for a depth signing, but they do have a lot of cap space left. It's only for two years before Carlson it ends when Carlson needs that long, long contract kicks in, if they do, in fact, get that extension, so I'm not too worried. Um, he played three games in the AHL last year. Um, he had three, in three games, he only had one point. Uh, in Anaheim, he, first half of the season, he was injured, so the second half, you expect, he didn't do the best, only got two points last season, 14 penalty minutes, and a plus four rating. In 17 games, though, with the Anaheim Ducks, he really got his offense going, get, getting six points. Two of them were goals, uh, six penalty minutes, pushing, helping the uh, Anaheim Ducks with their offensive push in the Stanley Cup final uh, playoffs. Um, in his NHL totals, he has 550 games under his belt for 111 points, 48 or goals, and 299 penalty minutes. So this guy, in, fit, in playoffs as well, 58 games played, seven uh, goals in 18 points and a plus 18 rating. I mean, yeah, 18 penalty minutes. Um, with the Tampa Bay Lightning, his most productive season he's had in the NHL 2010 and 2011 was under Guy Boucher, where he had 10 goals, 15 assists, and a plus, and 25 minutes, 25 points. So. I'm not saying that's going to happen exactly, but his most productive NHL season was under Guy Boucher. And what we saw with Tom Payette this year, um, no one really knowing him, very under the radar signing. Um, he was very productive, getting over 20 points this season. So expect Nate Thompson, he's probably going to be on that fourth line. Um, so this could be a good signing, a good under the radar signing for the Ottawa Sanders. The contract's a little bit high. But it could be worse. You could see what um, some other teams give, like Louis Erickson last year, six, seven years, for like six point something million with Vancouver. That was crazy. Um, as well, we have some other news. Um, Pierre Dorian is not um, shrugging away the possibility of bringing back Chris Kelly to a, um, a, a training camp um, tryout contract. So stay tuned for that. And uh, Pierre Dorian also stated he does expect. He does expect uh, Clark MacArthur to play next season and be ready for spring training camp. As well, Daniel Alfredson, the face of the Sanders franchise, is stepping down from the senior uh, operations uh, management uh, position with the Auburn Senators. This is for personal reasons. Um, he wants to take a step back from the game of hockey, take his break. He will be staying in Ottawa and being active in the community. Hopefully Alfie will come back. But at least he's not moving to another team like what happened in 2013 with Detroit. So the best to you, Alfie. Um, obviously the face of the franchise. And um, I'm not too upset. It could have been... It seems like a, it's, it's a really honest situation. And nothing to be hanging your head about. Um, because, you know, uh, if he wants to take a step away from the game, he's been playing the game and being in the game for over 20 years. I fully understand that. Be with your family. Um, so besides that, that's all the news for now. I want to wish you guys a great summer. I will not be here. Uh, I will not be uploading videos the whole summer until late August, I believe, is when we'll start putting videos up again. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. In late August, expect a video season recap and a season preview. So stay tuned for that in the upcoming months. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for the support this year. We've had so much support this year. And I really appreciate it. And happy Canada Day. Um, I'll see you all soon. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensstock underscore for live stream updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at Sensstock. Click the big red button down there. Subscribe to us. Like the video. Share the video or every share cool stuff. Please check out our website, SensstockCentral.com. We update it every single day. And please check out our Instagram sponsor, Sensstock.Central. Please click right here, 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 and here to subscribe to us for our latest video for our play playlist for our playoff videos of the season to the conference finals and our most recent upload. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. Have a great summer, and I'll see you all soon. Go Suns go.